Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He's the hip hop hit maker who lived his life out loud on the VH1 reality television show Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. And now with his reality TV days behind him, he's setting his sights on acting, his advocacy work, and his upcoming new album, Beast Mode. Mm. Please welcome Milan Christopher. Yes! <laughs> How you doing? Yes, handsome. Hey, Hello. How are you? How are you doing? How's it going? Pretty good. Yeah. You guys look amazing. Yes. So do you. Oh my God, thank you. What cologne is that you're wearing? It smells mm -hmm. nice. Aqua del Palmer Oud. Yes. Oh. Yeah. It's a Tom Board? It's Aqua del Palmer. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Aqua del Palmer. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. I have to check. say it. I have to check into that one. That one's very nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. Uh, not only do I have to check into that one, I have also been checking into your Instagram. Uh -oh. And you're quite the fly guy. Uh oh, you know, I try. I try yeah, my best. Well, you no, sharp you, today. You get yeah. your fashion on. No, y'all are sharp. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> We're doing something for Where do you draw your inspiration from, Milan? Um, GQ. GQ, yeah. um, I, I really like, like, who, uh, the person who styles Offset. Yeah. Um, and Pharrell. Those okay. are, like, my go-to guys. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like yeah. Pharrell, too. I yeah. like his whole everything. The energy, everything about him yes. is amazing. Yeah. It used to be Kanye, but... Well, we're going to move on. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. I'm going to skip out. I'm going to skip out. I'm going to waste my call. <laughs> um, so, Milan, you're from South Side, Chicago. Right. Um, so, I know that the South Side of Chicago, basically Chicago, period, we are big on house music. Absolutely. And your first single was EDM. Right. Is, is well, does your house music background kind of, con you know, contribute to... Um, your EDM, like, is that what made you want to go EDM? Because that's a first, that's a, a new first start, like mm. a, not a new, but a bold first start. I mean, I was, when I was growing up in Chicago, I was involved in, like, all the, like, the house dance groups. Yes. Yeah. You know, like, U5U, U, K5-9, mm -hmm. and then I was also a part of a thing called the ballroom scene, mm -hmm. so I used to just always be involved in house Turn music. Yes. So I wanted to do something that was, like, you know, something that I was acclimated to already, you know right. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I went straight to EDM. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of people had come to know you uh, on Love & Hip Hop Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Reality TV can be a bit challenging. What's been some of your most gratifying times and the least gratifying times on reality mm -hmm. TV? The most gratifying times is, and I'm so thankful, um, is to just be able to be on a platform mm -hmm. that millions and millions of people watch. Yeah. Um, and love and hip hop, or just hip hop in general at the time, just was not, you know, they weren't used to a, a gay man that looked like me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, TV, reality TV had a lot of more effeminate guys, mm -hmm. which, is, which is fine, but right. they just never had like, you know, a more masculine, mm -hmm. and I'm not even that masculine, but I'm just, you know. So well, what's they, wrong with being masculine? I mean, it's not, it's, cause I don't want to, I don't want anybody to feel like I'm downing the feminine guys, right. you know what I mean? It's just, it was, it, it's a lot more regular or more kind of like guys that look like me than it are, that it is yes, the yes. feminine guys. Mm -hmm. But every time we would be on television, people would go for the feminine guys to uh, cast. Yeah. So I was just, I was happy about that. Yeah, yeah. And, so. and that was the most gratifying. What yeah. was the least gratifying? <clears throat> The mo the least gratifying is I felt like um, the show marginalized uh, me or tried to like project a and stereotypical is, yeah. Selena just said that yesterday. A, a stereotypical um, storyline. Yeah. You know, I think uh, black women in general are very they they really like that. They really want to get to the core yeah. of the DO guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um and I think one of the problems that I had was is that, you know, for me, every time I think about a DL guy in our community, I think about like how they try to make it seem like a DL guy goes and sleeps with a, a gay guy, and then that's how HIV got into yeah. the population yeah. of African American yeah. women. And for me, being an HIV negative person um, and being a part of that storyline, it just did not sit well with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? People get HIV and diseases from having unprotected sex, not yeah. having unprotected sex with a guy, not having, if you have unprotected yes. sex with a person that you don't know what their status it is, doesn't matter. you get a disease sometimes. Mm -hmm. so Homosexual I, or heterosexual. Heterosexual. Yes. And so I just, that, that part of that kind of like, was kind of like, ugh, it's a weary feeling for me. So I just was, you know... I just didn't want to be bothered. You know, and, and, and I watched that entire season. And, and I, first of all, I want to commend you for uh, living your truth out loud and being courageous enough to come on television and be like, this is who I am, whatever. Right. You know, um, I think, you know, as I look at it, I think that it may have, well, you tell me, how did it affect your music? Because 
in, at the end of the day, you're a great, you're a good artist. You're Thank a great you. artist. You Thank know, it's about your artistry. Mm -hmm. Do you think that the reality television platform kind of hindered your music artistry because of the, the whole coming out of you being a homosexual man? I think it. I think it. I don't think it hindered me. I. I, I feel like, um, you know, at the time again, at the time, there wasn't a lot of visible gay guys. Yeah. You know what I mean. So I felt like it was. It's. It, it's important for us to be visible and be seen. Yeah. You know what I mean. And a, a lot of times, there people are. Um, they're more comfortable with us being the makeup artists. They're more comfortable mm. with us doing the hairstyling or the stylist. Mm -hmm. um, and they need to see us as the star. Mm, yeah. And so I felt like, you know, it's okay for me to say, yes, I am a gay rapper. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I don't think it hindered me um, in any way. In any you know? way. Do you think it probably cloaked the idea, the, the true fact that you are a producer as yeah. well? I think when I saw the show, they were focusing so much on yes. the storyline of things. But you would almost forget, like, he is a producer. Yes. Yeah. I, I literally forgot that. <laughs> yeah. I know, um, I, you know, when it comes to reality TV, um, it's one of those things where it's, it's what's going to make the people talk. Mm. And, you know, they, that, they're more focused on that. Um, I did have a, a, a lot of scenes where I was in the studio, and but it was about drama. Mm -hmm. It was about whatever was going that's on. That's what I'm saying. And so, yeah. you know, but I think with anybody, I, we have like Cardi B who's doing amazing. Yes. yes. Um, so, you know, you just have to stay true to who you are and keep focusing on your music. That's why I have my album coming out. So, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, so it comes out July 18th. It's called Beast Mode. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of those things where I just want it to be like as hardcore as possible. Um, from Chicago, Southside, right. yeah. you know, tough guys. So it's it's just me talking a lot of smack, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> and basically just turning up to some really dope tracks. So yeah. So so when when I let's just say if I've never heard you a song before, after listening to your new album, what will I take away from it? Ooh, you might take away like I can't say it on national TV, but uh -oh. you might take away I'm a bad mm -hmm. mamajama. <laughs> Well, we'll be, we'll be back with Milan, so just stay tuned. We're going to come back and get more of him to his business. <laughs> so it's going to be turned up like that. Yeah. Welcome back to Sister, Cir Sister Circle Live. We are still here with the incredibly talented Milan Christopher. So Milan, uh, I had seen <laughs> in Paper Magazine um, your spread, which happened to be nude. Uh -huh. What was mm -hmm. the inspiration for that? Well, this one isn't, but there are other pictures. <laughs> there are, there there are, are very yes. Um, You know, I just feel like I'm very comfortable with my body. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's plenty of women's like, women's, like women, like Beyonce and Rihanna and, you know, Kim Kardashian uh -huh. who show their body and they're still respected as artists. Uh -huh. um, and I just felt like, you know, why is it when... Well, some of them are. Yeah. Why is it when a, <laughs> a black man or a man in general shows uh -huh. their body, now they're something else, you know yeah. what I mean? But I just love my body. I think I have a great body. I work out every day. So. We love your body, too. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, well, we also on this love, good note. Milan, that you have been uh, working mm -hmm. with... Uh, Bounce TV, and mm -hmm. you're in a new series, In the Cut. Yes. You have a role there. Tell us a little bit about your your character. So I basically am uh, Dorian Rennert's personal assistant, uh -huh. and um, I'm just it's just hilarious. It's a great part. Um, Bentley Evans produced it, so it's just a really I was really excited to be a part of the show. So. Yeah. And so are you getting more into acting or is this just kind of one of the first things? I've or? always been into acting. Okay. I've always been into advocacy work. I've always mm -hmm. been into, you know, just entertainment in mm -hmm. general. Mm -hmm. Even back again, back home in Chicago, it's always been my life. So this isn't new for me. I'm just like, you know, this is my next stepping stone. So. You better step on up there, yeah. brother. We love right. that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Milan, for joining us here at Sister Circle. Listen, be on the lookout for his new album, Beast Mode, which drops July 18th. Yes, and thank you so much for joining us today on Sister Circle Live. We'll be back tomorrow with Harry Hilton, my girl. We love having you on the inside the circle today, and we can't wait to do it again tomorrow. Yay. Bye now. Good job. Good job.